Hi there, it's Umesh Damani here once again. And in this video, I wanna to talk to you about the powerful belief of I can't. See, I want you to understand here that the power of thought is so amazing. We really have to be aware of our thoughts. Why? Well, because they create the reality that we live in. Yeah, I know that sounds a little bit woo woo, but let me explain it a bit further. I want you to consider these statements for me. Watch your thoughts, they become words. Watch your words, they become actions. Watch your actions, they become habits. Watch your habits, they become your character. And watch your character, it becomes your destiny. Now, can you see how your thoughts shape your experience of reality now? You see, there's an amazing quote from Mahatma Gandhi that really sums it up and it really resonates with me so powerfully. And that is, a man is but the product of his thoughts. What he thinks, he becomes. I just love that quote, I think it's brilliant. You see, you can choose to think as an optimist and have a positive view and experience of life, or you can choose to think as a pessimist and experience a lower quality of life where you know, you're always feeling down, you expect very little from your life and you generally feel a little bit miserable and negative. It's your choice. And that's, that's how powerful your thoughts can be in influencing your life. So as Winston Churchill once quoted, a pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity. An optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. So, what would happen today if you decided to really achieve something in your life? You know, I mean, I mean make a really firm commitment to yourself, not some type of airy-fairy promise on the back of a cigarette packet. I mean, a really firm, resolute decision. What would happen? You see, I'm certain you would achieve what you set out to do. Why? Well, because it's all a matter of how you think about yourself and what you think you are capable of. The power of positive thought is incredible. Trust me, I've, been, I've spent 10 years helping clients to, owe, to achieve their goals, overcome problems in their life, and create the type of life they truly want. And the more you harness and nurture the power of thought, the more creative you become, the more you challenge yourself, and the more you grow as a person. You know, I promise you now, anything is possible as long as you believe and truly align yourself with your thoughts and your feelings. It's as simple as that. We all have the capability to think in a way that supports us, but way too often we resort to negative thinking and, and negative ideas that we can't do this or we can't do that. And often that seed gets planted in us as we grow up by the very people closest to us. And you know, sadly, this type of self-limiting talk will end up unfortunately being part of us. We are formed by our statements and sayings from our parents, from kids in school, from friends, from society, from the TV and even social media these days. And this type of talk goes on to create what we call limiting beliefs. And I've seen so many clients who believe they're not good enough, they're not lovable or likable, or they're not gonna succeed in business, or they'll be crap in relationships. I could list dozens of examples, it's absolutely crazy. These built-in beliefs are so powerful because they dictate our ability to reach our goals. But in fact, they are nothing more than a specific set of neural patterns that we're running in our brain. They are thoughts that are so embedded, they've become automatic behaviors, automatic programs. They're not there because they're the truth. They're there simply because they've been handed down to you as you've been growing up. They are there because someone put them there and we crazily think they're part of us, part of our being, part of our identity. And we believe it to be true. Well, that's complete and utter BS as far as I'm concerned. This is about your beliefs, your habits of thought and opinion and attitude about the world around you and especially your beliefs about you, about your life and your prospects for financial success. You limit yourself, not your partner, 
not the country you live in, not your bank account, not your friends, or even your family, just you. So now, you have a choice. What do you want for yourself? Decide which path you want to take and how you want to grow. It's entirely up to you. And it's summed up so well in this poem. When you're gifted with the power of thought, it's a wonderful thing in a way. But it can also create problems if your thoughts tend to go astray. The power of thought brings things to light that we tend to postpone. But now folks with the power of thoughts have today become quite known. So if you possess the power of thought and don't know how to use it, consult with others who have the same quality, but very seldom abuse it. For the Lord gave us the power of thought to do as we choose. So hang on to it always. It's the one power you don't want to lose. And that's by a guy called Norman Van Hayen. So before I wrap up, I want you to ask uh, a few favours of you. Yeah. Subscribe to my channel. There should be a button just beneath this video. So you'll get uh, updates every time I release a new video. Then hit the like and share buttons just beneath and share this with your friends. Share it on social media. Let's work together. Let's get these messages out there. And again, hit those like and share buttons below. And if you've got anything to add, just drop a comment below and let's start a conversation. Let's share this journey together and let me see how I can help you to grow as a person. And finally, if you're loving this stuff, then I want to give you a mind conditioning track to help you to start creating those changes in your life. It's yours free as my gift to you. Uh, all you have to do is just click on the link either in this video or in the box below and give me your best email address so I know where to send it. So until next time, Take care and signing out. Have a great day.